and welcome back to my channel. So today I was sort of playing around with my makeup, went a bit crazy and played around with the eye look and I actually like how it turns out which is always the way. I always end up doing a good eye look that I love without filming it. Um, recently I've just bought a couple new products especially when I was thinking about wedding makeup and that kind of thing. I was doing my friend's bridesmaids makeup. I was like I want to get good products and make sure that they last all day long. So I've got a few things and so I thought I'd do a mini haul. I thought that this would be like a new products that I am loving at the moment video. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it but it's new products that I'm loving. It's kind of like Lusta Luxe's hot new shit. I just want to highlight some of my new favorites. Maybe March favorites, April favorites, our favorites, their favorites. If you would like to see anything else please let me know in the comments below. Um, I noticed a lot of you kind of liked my misguided video. If you'd like to see more haul videos, clothes videos, any kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click that button down below. Like this video if you like these kind of new favorites, new products to try kind of videos. And if you're not already, go and follow me on Instagram. I'll have that linked around here somewhere and in the drop down box. Anyways, let's just jump straight into the video. <laughs> so first I'm going to start off with new skincare that I've been loving lately. These are from Real You Australia. They're an Australian brand. I was saying these products, one is the face gel, then there's the gentle foaming wash and the light moisturizer for hydrating. So this is obviously, I use this in the morning. So I always use the gentle foaming cleansing wash. I do this morning and night and then I just put the face gel on after I've cleansed at night time. My favorite thing that I 100% love the most, it's a light moisturizer. I'm always looking for a light, non-oily, non-greasy moisturizer, especially under my makeup. I put this on every morning morning before um, I put my makeup on so I'll always cleanse my face put this on it feels so nice light and refreshing I don't feel oily I don't feel greasy it doesn't have any SPF in it but my makeup does so I guess that balances it out I'll also um, put them all in the description box because a lot of people comment saying they couldn't understand what I said so I have to put it in the description box sometimes because apparently my accent's too strong so I'm sorry about it Next is a bit of a random one actually. It is the Duo Eyelash Adhesive Waterproof Clear White. I actually realized that right before the wedding, I was like, oh my God, I don't have any glue to put the eyelashes on. And I know um, the girls were bringing eyelashes, but I was like, I don't think they've got glue. I Googled best eyelash glue and Duo came up. I got the clear white, so it goes on white but dries clear and I've got it on now. And it is by far my favorite glue that I have ever used. 100% recommend it over Ardell and any other glue that I've ever used. Next and last for skin, Amy Marie Como, who I follow on Instagram, is doing a competition for this Jehovah Company Natural Pigmentation Oil. And I was like, yes, please. And it's meant to be put on morning and night. I've sort of been a bit lazy and only been putting it on at night time just because I like to put it on and then go to bed. Um, this is for pigmentation and it says massage one to two drops onto clear skin. Um, it is so cool. I don't know if you can see, but it is like gold. So I'm loving this at the moment. Now onto one of my new favorite, favorite, favorite concealers. I got this just on a whim. Brie and I were actually wedding present shopping and we went into Mecca and I was like, I need a new concealer. And I was going to get the Urban Decay concealer and then I just randomly saw this and I knew Shan XO used it. I'd only watched some of her videos that day and gone, oh, she uses this Bare Minerals. That looks cool. So I went and I put it on my skin and I was like, it just has a creamy, full coverage, so blendable, works so perfectly in your skin. And I like am obsessed with it, been using it every single day. It has replaced any other concealer. I got it in Fair, so it's a Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. It's complete coverage serum, 100% is. I also heard recently about these lightening, shade adjusting drops from these are from the body shop you can get lightening and darkening drops I haven't used this that much but it definitely works I found that if I put it in a foundation that is a bit too dark I just drop a few drops in mix it up and it 100% lightens it it may make it a tiny bit oilier but I still really think this is a great product and something that you can try if you don't want to keep buying different shades of foundation they're only like $20 in Australia so that's pretty good as well next this is kind of new kind of not new this is the Laura Mercier 
loose setting powder translucent. I got this from David Jones. I thought I was just buying this powder that I've used forever and then when I got home I realized that this is the loose setting powder translucent and this is the invisible loose setting powder universal. So I got them at different places but as you can see massive size difference and this one is a bit more has a slight tinge creamy kind of color to it which is fine I feel like it works exactly the same I haven't had too much of a difference but it's just a much bigger container next I had a my voucher so I wanted to go to benefit and get some new goodies I heard the professional matte rescue primer was I heard from a, a video and a couple videos that I watched that this was a really good full matte primer and I tried it out a few times and it is a really cool like jelly gel kind of consistency. I've been wearing it every day to work and it keeps my face super matte. Makes my foundation last 100% recommend it if you are looking for a matte primer. This is probably one of my favorites that I've ever gotten but it is a bit expensive so I don't know it's hard. It's like a bit expensive but it's really good. I went to David Jones and got this Laura Mercier foundation primer and it's a radiance. I wanted to get a nice glowing primer and I found that this and the benefit mixed together is like a really good combo. Again I had a voucher. I love vouchers but it actually is really glowy. Like when they say radiance they mean serious radiance. It has this really nice glow especially if you're going into summer and you want more of a dewy base a dewy base under your foundation then this one is the one to go then last but not least is another one from Benefit. I sort of got roped into getting this because normally um, each individual, say Hula and stuff, are all $50 each and I got five for $100. Mm -hmm. So this is Benefit Cheekathon and it comes like this, like oh my god. You've probably seen it on Instagram because it's a bit all the rage at the moment. So it comes with Hula Bronzer which really does live up to everyone's expectations. The Rocket Rocketure, I don't know, it's really cool highlight. Dandelion, which is a blush. Another bronzer called Dallas, got more ready tones in it. And this Coralista blush. It also comes with this brush, which is an amazing contour brush to really contour the face up. I'm actually wearing Hula and Coralista on my cheeks today and this brush, you can pay money, good money for these kind of brushes. So I was like, yes, please. Anyways, those were all the things that I bought. It wasn't a huge haul, but I wanted to actually share with you things, not just a haul, these are all the stuff I got, but as in, these are the things that I've got that I've been using that I've been loving, and i just like to share with you my favorite products that I've been loving a lot lately. So I hope you guys liked this haul. Let me know if you have any good product recommendations, because you know I'm always up for trying new things, and it's my birthday coming up really really soon April 28th get excited I'll probably fingers crossed be getting more makeup or more makeup vouchers so if you would like to see a birthday haul please let me know in the comments below because I will do one of those for you as well thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below if you did and with a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you all very very soon bye